What's up guys, Cody here with another tutorial. This is, uh, as I promised, a Adobe After Effects Twix Story tutorial. Uh, what you've just seen in the beginning of this is what your video will end up looking like if you follow my steps. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and open up Adobe After Effects. Um, keep in mind you do need the Twix Store plugin for this. It's, uh, it's not free but you can get the trial and I know a lot of you can get this stuff for free if you just looked around. Google is your friend. Um, so we're gonna start up After Effects whenever it decides to start. CS5 takes a long time to start for some reason. Alright, so we have our After Effects interface open. First thing we're gonna do is wanna make a new composition. Um, my clip is 1280 by 720 as most of yours are. If you're using a Hoppage HD PVR, your frame rate should be 59.94 and your duration all depends. Okay, we're going to take a look at our clip. <clears throat> Let's see here. Fraps, movies. Our clip is 7 seconds long. So for a good Twixler, we want about 3 times that. So we're going to go ahead and make this Let's go with 35. It's always good to overshoot, not undershoot, so it's alright. So we have a 35 second timeline, and as you can see, it's here. So let me just reposition this. Alright, so first thing we're going to want to do, we made our, our new composition, now we're going to want to go to File, Import File. And you want uh, you want to take your file into into After Effects. So movies, and then mine was right here. Drag it down, and here we are. Here's your clip. As you can see, I fire a clip, reload, bam, done. All right, so simple enough. Uh, this is all. This is the like a adjustment phase of uh, of the tutorial so make any last minute adjustments you want here for example I'm gonna go ahead and give my video some black bars and just drag it in a bit just so it doesn't look all squished all right so now I have black bars in my video kinda makes it look more professional I guess next we want to add some color correction maybe so let's find a spot where we can get a good view on what the color is like like right here would be good when his guns off to the side so we're gonna go to uh, layer, I mean, not, uh, yeah, layer, new layer, and then go to adjustment layer, or hit control alt y. And we're going to go to effect, color correction, color curves. Now we can just, you know, drag this out a bit, drag this in a bit, until we get a satisfying color correction that's not too dark, not too light. And, um, I usually have trouble finding one that's really good, but. Well, I do on COD 4, not Modern Warfare 2. Alright, so we have our color correction set up. I think that's pretty good. Um, maybe just a little... Oh, wow, it's straight again. What the fuck? Alright, so that looks better. And then maybe drag this out a bit. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Alright, so that's done. Okay, so next we want to hit this little button here. Enable frame blending for all layers. This will just help smooth out your video. Right click your video track, and go to time, enable time remapping, or hit control alt T, and then go to frame blending, pixel motion, and check that. So that should be on. So, okay. Next, we're on to the fun part the Twix store. First, you're going to want to find an area where you want to start your Twix store. Usually, most people will do it at, at the reload, well, when he's putting back in the clip. Um, actually, I want to have it when he's taking out the clip as well. So, let's see here. You don't want to do it when there's too much motion because you'll get really bad, uh, like, coasting, which isn't good. It basically creates a hologram around your movement, which we don't want. So, we're going to go to effects, 
Vision Plugins, Twixter Pro, or Twixtor, you don't need to use Twixtor Pro. Set your frame rate to 59.94, since you're using Hoppage HD PVR. And we're going to go down to Effects, Twixtor Pro, Output Control. You know, I'm, I, I, ugh, this is why we enable timer mapping. Basically, it allows us to. What the fuck? So my color scheme has changed. Apparently, After Effects and Camtasia, you can't run at the same time. Oh well. So, anyway, <laughs> drag this over to your liking. Now, we wanted to start it here. Okay. So, output control. This is your speed. First thing you want to do is you want to hit this clock next to speed. This will basically make a keyframe. Then we're going to go to the next frame using our next frame button. And then maybe we're going to drop that down uh, to, I uh, see, I don't want to make this too slow, so we're going to go ahead with 3.5 and see how that looks. Okay, so 3.5 is good. He just throws the clip. Now we're going to, we're going to hit the keyframe button again, go one frame forward, and throw it back up to your original speed, which was 100. So now we have that. Okay. That being said and done, we're gonna we're gonna go to the part where he actually reload, where he throws in the clip. We're gonna make that one a little slower just because it looks cooler. All right. So then we're going to <coughs> make another keyframe. So just that button there next frame and perhaps maybe we want to make the reload slower so we're going to drop it down to one percent one percent and wait till he gets the clip in now maybe one percent's a little too slow hit this up to two bam throws the clip in we make another keyframe, next frame, and amp it back up to 100. So now we have pretty much our twist are done and complete. Uh, I'm going to add a little, a little um, optical flare to it. So don't mind me. I am actually gonna just go back to the previous keyframe. Right here is maybe where I want to start my optical flare. You don't have to to like. Uh, do this. This is this is just me trying to make this fancy. Um, if you don't have optical flares, you can also get these from places. Uh, if um, yeah. So uh, maybe I want to. Huh. Kind of want to add a glow. So maybe if I add this, I'm trying to think where I can put this glow because. Um, there's a mountain back there, and maybe I want to put it, like, behind the mountain. because yeah, then his hand's in the way. Huh. Maybe I will forget about that, but I will add an optical flare somewhere. Alright, so. <laughs> Effect. Video Copilot. Optical flares options. I have a preset made, so I'm going to use the line flare that I made over original. Um, I want to rotate this. Rotation offset. There we go. So, okay, so let me come on. I'm trying to get this lined up with the gun a bit, it's kind of a pain in the ass, to be honest. All right. So, now we have our lens flare here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, optical flares. Um, actually, I wouldn't even need to. I can just hit this here, position. 
Uh, also, I probably want to adjust the brightness. So drop the brightness down to zero. And then we're going to want to go to the next frame. And then bring it up. Actually, you know, that 150 looks good. And then position. There. And we're going to go to the next frame. I'm going to drop this down back to 100. And with the position, I'm going to move it up to about there. So now the flare slides in. So now I want to. So now it kind of slides in, goes up the gun. Then from here I can drop the brightness. Maybe to about 70. And drag it up a bit and drag it down a bit and then rotate it back on the track hmm. all right now we're gonna go ahead and throw down some more and then come back down to about the tip of the gun adjust it a little more because it's kind of a messed up angle and then we're going to bring it up a little more and then off and then next frame zero again. Alright, so basically when we play this back it's going to bam, slow motion flare comes onto screen goes up the gun right, so let me look at the positions again this can be tweaked a bit so now all I'm doing really is going through the keyframes and finding out what I can tweak. Right, so, anyway, this is kind of hard. Um, I don't like this adjustment thing. Alright, so, next keyframe. Oh, wow, that's really off. keyframe all right so all right so our flare looks straight and we are ready to go we are ready to render let's do it Alright, so, composition, add to render queue, output module, QuickTime, you need to install QuickTime for this, format options, if you're using a PVR, you will do H.264, and we will render, and then we will hit render. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you uh, learned how to use TwixStore, keep on editing, and you'll get better at it, so, have fun.